Right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today this is a very quick update on the old SV. So, due to a lot of, um, how do I say this? Let's get this in the right order first, like a fucking clown. <laughs> um, I've worked out that I've actually found a problem, uh, and it wasn't, I wanted to explore literally on camera. But this is why I was fucking dicking around charging the battery backwards and forwards. I found one issue. Um, I don't know if it's causing my problem. Eh, we'll find out. Uh, but it's a wiring issue. The other thing is, is that I've got the old rectifier back in it and it seems to work now, so it's an intermittent problem. Um, due to a lot of people's recommendations, I got an Electro... Elect... Electrex... <laughs> Electrex rectifier for the SV. Um, and uh, we're gonna... This basically, you have to wire this up, which is great because I want to do something with it. Basically, what I'm hoping to do is... I want to move the rectifier from down here to up here in the seat. Uh, just because vibration, heat, blah, 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 blah. Um, but while we're here, I'm going to do a quick, very quick, simple video. What I've got over here, which you can't see just yet, is I've got a bit of wiring that I've put together. This is very temporary, and you'll see what it is. Um, while I'm doing all this rectifier bullshit, I don't want to get caught stranded again. And this thing can um, run a total loss system for about 20 miles, something like that. It's roughly 15, 15, 20 miles. So if I know that it's gone up shit creek, I know it's gone up shit creek, I'll be able to see it as I'm riding and we can sort out some of these problems. But we're gonna install this, not today, this is for a weekend job because I kinda of want to work out where I'm going to place this, mount it, blah, 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 blah. Find a good place for it and sort out some of the other problems. It means we're gonna to have to crack into the loom slightly. I've got the wiring diagram out. We'll go through the whole fucking thing. And this can kind of um, cross between um, certain other applications so yes this is exactly for this bike but what you'd have to do is if you had a similar problem it's pretty similar and we'll go through all that but for now I'm just going to install this bit of wiring and show you what all the fucking hell that's for so we're up at the dash of the server and as you can see I've drilled a hole in here now this is a 28 millimeter thread so I got a force and a bit basically drilled into there there's nothing directly behind it I took off this panel here and basically stuck my hand behind to make sure there's nothing that I was going to drill into and there was clearance for this thing. This is just basically a uh, voltage meter. It goes in cars, it goes in bikes, it has a locking ring on the back, 28 millimeter thread, 28 millimeter hole. Because it's plastic, I actually did wind this past it. So it's very tight, nice and comfy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, cable ties, these are the adjustable ones that you can uh, tie up and then untie. So if, we, if and when we want to move this, probably when we want to move this, and basically just a wiring loom. I'll talk a bit about this plug that's on the end when we get to the other end, and some uh, silicon grease, some dielectric grease. Right then, so, uh, nothing to it really. I've just got to thread it through, and we'll just go through it as we go through it. Right, so, there's nothing really to it. Quite quick and simple. I've left extraordinary amount of length of cable on this thing, just so it'll reach. I'm undoing my seat, I'm going to take my keys out. To get rid of my back seat, that little pillion fucking thing, I'll get rid of that one day. Like so, I need to get the whole thing done. What I'm going to do, is because on this end of the cable, on this end of the cable, I've got the two connectors for this actual gauge. This is all heat shrinked and twisted together. And then on this side, I've got a ring terminal like there. And then I've got this um, actual Suzuki socket, which has a dead end and it's been cut off, as you can see. I'll talk about what that is in a second. Now, because you're going to fish it through the whole system, because this is split like this, I don't want to fish this end through. Really, I want to push this end through all the complicated shit around the frame. There's no... You'd have thought of the key, you know, dipstick, you know, not a dipstick, a bloody thing. <laughs> yes, exactly, Matt. We know exactly what you're talking about. Of course. A fucking thing. Right. So we've got our bit of wiring. Uh, and we're going to do this. Go straight through the frame, but there's... 
Ah, you fuckers. I don't want to feed it through that way. I just don't. <laughs> oh, I was going to get a bit of lock wire, but the problem is it'll pull off these connectors if I grab it with a bit of lock wire. Um, look, I just want you to go through there. Fecker. Is there enough room, actually? Yeah, there'll be fucking bags of room for this. Come on. Twat. I can't even touch with my fingers. If I could touch with my fingers. Oh, there we go. Um, Counter steer. Right, there's my finger. Put it on my finger. Put it on my finger. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, there. Oh, come on, you had it then, you fucking dickhead. Yes, I know people are going to go, why don't I just take the airbox out because I can't be bothered. And this is funny, yeah. Oh, oh, get it. Get it, get it. We're there, look. We're practically there. What's stopping it? Are oh, you following that cable around, you fucking asshole? <laughs> Just keep on pushing wire through until I can grab something. <laughs> there, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming breach, but it's coming. Right then. Fucking hellfire, what a dick around. So that needs to follow all the other gubbins. Go through that cable stay there. There you go. Through the handlebars. Follow the mate. Oh, hang about, what am I? Crossing over here. Crossing over throttle cables. Move this handle bar back out my way. Probably into your way. She's tight. Yeah, and them screws I took out when I was fucking dicking around and I bloody I don't know where they are, they're in there, but I should replace them. Um, right, so this is the exciting bit. This is where we get the lube out. We've always got time for lube. So we shit like this. Get your dielectric grease and just squirt it in there. And there we go. This goes positive is red, negative is the blue black one. Oh, oh shit, you know what I've done wrong? Fucking locking ring, Jesus Christ. Positive is red. Oh, locking ring on the wrong side. Yes! This is what success looks like, for fuck's sake. Pay attention, you knob. It is the end of the day and I've been at work and it's been a knobhead day at work today, but... No excuses, Captain Twat. Right, there we fucking go. level you fucking knob. There we go. These locking rings and stuff, again if you put you do a tight hole. <laughs> if you force it in a tight hole you should be all good. Right so that's that. We've got easily enough slack in here. This doesn't move with the it moves with the frame not the handlebars. We can always check clearances and all the rest of it in a minute. And then what we do is we come back down to this side. There you go. Right then, so here we are. Have I got enough? This is the thing, I thought I had a ridiculous amount of cable, but looking at it now, maybe I don't. Oh yeah, we've got enough. Right, cool. So, cable for our jobbies. Um, I'm going to try and use some of the ties that are in here for the loom. It's best if I come this side. 
this isn't overly exciting shit, so you're not missing anything. It's my cable tie and some cables, which I'm sure. Ah, oh, I'm burning my finger on the cylinder head. There you go, that'll stop that fucker moving. Yes, I'm not snipping the end of the cable ties because, like I said, this is a temporary solution. And these cable ties, they're reusable jobbies. There we go. Right, so. Well, we'll just follow the main loom, fuck it. This all looks a bit back ass backwards, though. I'm sure this isn't the routing for all this because that's tight up against there. And that's one of my problems, this lead here. That's one of my problem leads, which we'll get to at the weekend. Right. So we've gone through there. Through there. Oh, come on, you fucker. Just follow the loom, you dick. <laughs> That's easy. Eh, eh. Fucking hell. Quick video, Matt, that's really entertaining. It is quite funny watching you fumble around like a knob. That's what someone's going to say. I don't want to get into pulling half the fucking bike apart. Just to get this little pissy wire through all of this. That's uh, an adjustable cable tie from Suzuki. Right, this is the juicy bit. I say juicy bit, it's shit really. Basically, what's happened is, is someone's done a tail tidy fucking bodge job. And when they've done that, they have um, pulled the light out and the actual socket that the number plate light goes into. And the number plate light was literally sat here, that bloody cobweb, sat here against here, just illuminating the inside of this. There's a tiny little gap there where it should have gone. They've put some sticky bloody towel. It's just a fucking mess. So, it wasn't illuminating the number plate in the first place. I passed my MOT like that, and I don't think you have to have that. I don't think you have to have a rear plate, number plate illuminated legally. Although I will check. But anyway, that's the socket there for this light. And what I've done is I've connected the ground of this, the negative, uh, to this plug. So when we stick that in there, now this um, voltmeter that I've got is now connected to the negative. And then when I connect that the positive to the battery, then we will get that light up. But it will only work when we've got our ignition in. Right then, so basically with all that buttoned up, all we've got to do now is that this is off, which is the good thing, that's what we want. We want it to be off. Because if it's on all the time, it'll just drain your battery overnight and so on. And then, when we switch it on, she comes on. All good. 11.7, you see I can now track that and see what's happening, if it's going up, if it's going down. I don't want to start it just yet, just in case, because that's a bit suspect. <laughs> um, maybe I've got a cell going out on the battery, maybe it's just had enough. But we will, it'll hold a charge of 14 volts, but we'll actually see what the leak down voltage is with the batteries. There's loads of things to go through here. It looks like we do have a leak. Um, someone brought up a very good point about me setting the um, milliamps for doing the ground leakage and like a knobhead it was set to AC which is wrong. Do leads. See now we're getting what we should be getting. But anyway that's the first part of this. Any questions? It's a very very simple thing. This is not fucking groundbreaking or anything. We literally just plugged in a voltmeter 
into the circuit where it's switchable it goes through the ignition switch and like i say that number plate number plate light wasn't fucking working anyway so we might as well use the source of that you know we have to go from here to the battery and right next to the battery is that bloody socket anyway so fuck it why not hope that makes sense like i say this is just a little bit just in case because i was just going to plumb this in and then just start playing videos and people start asking and what i did and so that's this hope that makes sense i'll see you in a bit